One of the new features in Houdini 20 is a new node that allows you to quickly and easily create bubbles. So let's take a look at how it works. So this scene will be available on Patreon. Uh, there's some grayscale gorilla stuff in here as far as textures go, so you won't be able to get those, but the scene file itself will be available on there. But as far as the bubble goes, there's really not a whole lot to this. I just have a pig head here. Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, the actual bubble node, there's not really much to it. All you need to do is create some points. So let's do just a scatter. Or you could do like a points from volume. Uh, let's go over and set the count down to like 300. And then we also, if we want to create some random sizes for the bubbles, we can do an attribute randomize. And let's set this to P scale. And we'll make this one dimensional. And let's set the min value to like 0.1, and maybe the max value we'll set to like 0.4, something like that. And then we can drop down the remesh bubbles node, which is the new bubble node. And you can see we get some randomization as far as the size of the bubbles go. And the, fre uh, the frequency here is set to five, so you can adjust that as you see fit. We'll leave it at five for now. There's really, like I said, not a whole lot to this, this node. Uh, there's just a few different settings here. So let's go ahead and check them all. And we can go about messing with them and seeing what all they do. Actually, I'm gonna change that, just not enable the offset. So we have this bulge amount here, so you can have them kind of bulge in different directions. Let's turn off the smoothing just for now, just so we can see just kind of, especially on this, this bubble right here, you can see how that affects it. So they're no longer perfect spheres. You can see that they have some bulging and random spots. Um, actually, this offset will create some some weird kind of unevenness on the, the edges here. So you get some of this kind of like bad geometry. Uh, you can smooth that out with this smoothing mount option and you get some, some nicer geometry. And just uh, what this does is basically to the offset, it just makes some space in between your bubbles so you can use this for some sort of like a packing type thing i've seen a lot of people on on youtube and social media in general just doing the the vellum like inflation stuff so i suppose you could kind of do that with this remesh bubbles uh, if you did a p scale and you're kind of multiplying that in a solver over time and you had this offset so if we drop this down to like 0.1 we get something a little bit closer Maybe we'll do like 0 0.05, get some, some pretty close uh, bubbles here. So if we just did like a uh, points from volume, this is a pretty popular thing that you'll see on social media. Let's go ahead and maybe we up this a little bit. Let's add some jitter in here. And then we'll just bring this, actually we'll just bring both over. And then we can get this kind of a situation going on here. And let's see, maybe we drop that down. There we go. We get some more of the actual shape of the pig head here. And then uh, it's not exactly what you'd see, like I said, in the with like the vellum inflation type stuff, but it's a kind of a similar look. You get the kind of the shape going on. So you could mess around with that, but there's not really a whole lot to this bubble node. Like I said, you have some bulge and then some offset and smoothing. Not a whole lot to it, but it is pretty nice. You also, if I jump in, uh, we also have a, I dropped down just a material library node real quick. We have a new Karma node, so Karma material builder, or not node, but like setting that actually works in XPU. So thin film. We have, I believe this wasn't working before. So we have thin film and uh, there's a, a trans, I think transmission wasn't fully working uh, correctly. So uh, you have thin film and transmission. So you can actually make the, like the bubble solver, or like the, the bubble um, materials, I mean. So you can mess around with that, but that's kind of a quick overview of the bubbles. There's like I said, not a whole lot to it. Obviously you can play around with this and throw this into a like a pop net as well then you can get some some similar stuff going on with that if you would like to with that as well but anyways 
Hopefully this helps you out. There's a bunch of new stuff in Houdini that I've been taking a look at. So make sure to check out all the different videos that I've been going over all the new features. Um, so there is a lot in this update and a lot of really cool stuff in Houdini 20, especially with Karma XPU. I'm going to be going over a bunch more stuff with Karma XPU um, and just Solaris in general. I think that there is a lot of people that are going to be um, wanting to, to jump into Solaris and actually use it as their primary renderer now, which I think is a definitely a solid option. So anyways, like I said, there's a bunch of other stuff on Houdini 20 on my channel or just Houdini in general. So check out some of the other videos on my channel if you want to learn more about Houdini. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.